back. It is a uh, pretty cold day here in Texas, but we are down in Texas and I'm pretty sure you guys already know where we're at. We are at Diamond Sea Trailers. Get ready for some epic videos. You guys probably already know what we're doing. We're down here picking up uh, a new trailer from our friends at Diamond C. Uh, before we get into showing you guys the new trailer setup, which you guys know, we got to tease you a little bit, uh, may not even be in this video. Uh, I personally love seeing how things are made, the facility, the tour. Uh, we are going to jump right in and do a full Diamond C tour of how the best trailers on the market are put together uh, right over here. I believe this is shipping, but uh, yeah, we're going to dive in. Uh, we're going to see my man Jacob and we're going to drive, drive around and kind of see this place is massive. I, I would show you over here be, behind me, but my trailer's right here and I don't want to te I don't want to show you guys just yet. So anyway, super pumped, sit back, relax, and let's take a tour let's take it let's, let's take a little tour of diamond c don't mind the uh beautiful yellow hard hat here the uh the yellows for the visitors the uh the main man gets the cool black one so uh we are here with jacob from diamond c and uh i'll pan over here now that you guys can see we're uh, we're filming we're filming a film but <laughs> we're starting our warehouse tour and we kind of wanted just to start uh as you can see there's uh there's quite a bit to see here but uh, what we're looking at kind of in front of us is is what again? So across the road of the county road here you see uh, The main rectangle here, you know, there's variations that you can see in the sheet metal You know how that kind of gets older anyways the the main rectangle is from 1993 where my dad and, and a group of the guys who were building trailers at the time built this building you know once they moved out here and so that's where we'll go that's where we'll start that's where a lot of the main um, uh, fabrication functions are done getting material prepped cut to length that thing that kind of thing that then goes out into the other main production facilities awesome so we're headed so we're headed right over here yep okay awesome No, it might be a little hard to hear us, but obviously we got we got we got production going on over here. But uh, the majority of stuff kind of rolls right through here. You said right, we're in the original building right here. For sure, yeah. They, when I spoke a while ago in the introduction about that original rectangle, this is it. This is the building that in '93 we moved into. My dad and a few of his guys built this building. They had run for about uh, seven years behind the house that I grew up in, and it was time to, to expand. So they moved. They moved out here. This building still serves as a lot of the primary functions uh, of the business. There's other adjacent facilities, but this one is where you see a lot of raw material comes in here. It's then either burned out of a piece of sheet metal or it's structural steel that's cut to length for cross members, all sorts of things, uh, which to us is, is a really a differentiator because we have so much control over all of the different pieces of the trailer. Many manufacturers outsource a lot of that steel fabrication, but for us it's very important uh, being an innovator to have that infinite control over the amount of uh, material. Assembly line here and there's actually one right over to the right. So this is a lot of the smaller trailers? Yeah, a lot of your car haulers, uh, utility trailers. This shop was actually set up originally with stations of two men teams, which is a good thing for those guys building, you know, one trailer at a time and getting it completely done, whereas now it's more assembly line focused, but where they measures in place for quality and things like that. So they'll be on this framing table here. That table can frame up to, I don't know, three or four hundred different configurations of trailers. Oh, okay. That one table. Where it's very so that was basically building number one, roughly? Number one. On to number two. That's the OG building. OG building. Man, I don't know, like I am I am blown away. Like how many different models of trailers do you guys like actively right now produce? About forty. Like just the sheer amount of like operation that that takes is just insane. I asked, I was like, man, how many people actually work? It's like over five hundred people to complete all of these just the the task of getting that organized and streamlined and like wow well, th there's no doubt the success of any of any organization relies, relies with your people i mean we've got a phenomenal team it's a it's our 
uh, mission every day to, to continue to build that team up and give these give these individuals a, a, a growth a growth path to be successful. Not just to come here and weld for the rest of their life or what have you. I mean, to, to grow into a leadership position. You know, it, it's so much of the quality of the product lies within uh, your people. Yeah, hundred percent. Your team members. Hundred percent. So. If you guys, so you guys need to go. I don't think we mentioned this before, but you guys need to go show Diamond C some love on all of their social media platforms, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, all of it because uh, what's cool is the trailers and the innovation and I think that's what drew me to Diamond C in the first place was a lot of the media that you guys were posting is really cool products and always innovating and pushing uh, a lot of people get complacent and they they come up with a trailer design and you see that just that's it you know like that's 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 the end uh where you guys just are always whether it's the small trailers big trailers pushing and not only that is like the family atmosphere and what you guys preach uh all day every day is just super cool to watch and see and you can't you can see that on to building number two i guess right let's go This is all the fleet necks, and on the right side here, these few lanes, and then on the other side is dump trailer production as well. Okay. So this area you see here is where all the, the beam material comes in, where we start to you know, form, shape, bend, cut, uh, and build the engineered I beams that we talked about. Before. saw before is the neck assemblies are all built separate and then attached after that correct that's right yeah, yeah. entered this building building number two uh, i was talking about the left side being the dump this is a framing table again kind of like what we saw earlier on this table can frame many many different variations of dump trailers and it offshoots to the right line whether it's a big dump trailer with 44 inch sides or whether it's an eight foot trailer with 18 inch sides so this is tilts and flatbeds? Tilts and flatbeds. Okay. Your HDT grass tilts for hauling skid steers, your flatbeds for hauling, you know, building materials, things like that. Okay, gotcha. So from where we're standing now, did we basically just go... We made a huge... We made a huge uh, loop. Yeah, we sure did. About four, four buildings later. Right. Woo! Four buildings and, and all the, the welding production side, the fabrication side of things. The next the next time we pick up, we'll be over at the, the finished facility, which is where where things get even more interesting. It's this we I guess we've completed half the battle. The <laughs> other half we'll get on those. So we so we've seen basically raw material, multiple production lines, everything get to a almost basically complete state, except for like you said, finishing. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Completely welded. And the next stop is you know, cleaning, prepping, powder coating, finishing, all the, all the detail work. Okay, awesome. So we got trailers stacked up over here. 
and then this building right here is completely all finishing it's all finishing yep yep and all, all the ones you see here i mean they're stacked up they're they're ready to be sorted by priority by uh color by batch by trailer type you know to to get hung on the the driven conveyor in the finished facility and do you want to talk a little bit about the dm coating i guess that uh you know there's a lot of th i guess there's a lot of things that diamond c does different pretty much almost everything is different uh which is the reason why uh but what is different and special or maybe we're going to talk about it in there but yep. um the process in which all that is different yeah so the the dm coating system we, we we've named it that it's a lot of components that come together to form the dm coating system but um, it, it's a powder coat top coat uh, but we we can't just leave it at that there's too many important other steps that have to be done correctly to to get that finish the ultimate finish we knew coming into putting this facility together it had to be the kind of the ultimate and so there's lots of steps that we'll get to see along the way uh, that form the DM coating system. Obviously they come in raw steel, right? Raw steel. And so then, then what you're seeing here is, is the beginnings of getting them hung on the driven conveyor. This conveyor is about 2,500 feet long. And once they're hung, they do not stop till they land on their tires. The first stop is a media blast boot. You've heard of sand blast, which is similar, but we use steel shot instead of sand. Much more aggressive. And what that does is it knocks off all of the, the particles on top, maybe weld BBs, things like that. It knocks off a mill scale that comes directly from the steel mill and loosens it up to where it is the starting to get the material ready for that first coat of primer. Dang! But, uh, some, would, some would say that's mint. Yeah, that's mint. <laughs> <laughs> so our next stop is the wash bay. All of those things I was telling you about, the steel shot loosening up, well, the next important step is getting it all rinsed off, washed off. There's five different solutions. There's pH balancers, there's the adhesion promoters, there's acid wash, all of that is done in this white booth. What that's doing is getting the material primed, or not primed, but perfectly primed for the yep. first coat of primer to bite into the metal. After the wash phase, the trailer travels out. This serves as a good inspection point, making sure that we got a uh, good rinse off. It's going into a 125 foot long horse trout oven. It's going to force Preparation is a huge part of it. You gotta prepare the material the best, the best it can be before you put any kind of coating on it. You can have the best coating in the world, but if the material's not prepped correctly, it's not gonna stay. So we got it prepped correctly. Now we're going into primer. Primer is huge. We use a zinc base or a zinc enriched epoxy primer versus a normal uh, regular epoxy primer, or in some cases, some manufacturers don't use any primer at all. So the zinc enriched primer is huge. It protects against corrosion resistance and it actually makes the, the coating that much more durable. Out of the uh, out of the primer, they come around right here mm -hmm. and start the uh, second second loop back through. Yep, How long did you say this building was? Uh, this building's 875 feet long. Whoo, yeah. man! So, and then the next step is getting that top coat. We've got our, our zinc enriched you know primer on the trailer now. And then our next uh, booth, you can see through the opening there, will be the top coat booth. Whether it's getting a uh, black top coat or any, you know one of the eight colors, other eight colors we have. So. So here we are pretty much at the end, right? Close. Yep, this is the, the final cure of it. A lot of people uh, don't realize when you say powder, it goes on as a pixie dust powder. And then it comes through this final cure of it at 400 degrees, 440 degrees. And it turns that powder, that pixie powder, into a gel that encapsulates the material that it's on. Yeah. It into the metal. So you've got 
got this tray. They're still very warm to the touch, but uh, they're prepping, they're getting axles ready, they're getting all your live wiring, pin straps, all the finish details. All of that happens with the trailer moving. Oh, wow. Yeah. The only thing that we don't do is actually put those, if it's a wood floor, we don't put the wood on it until it's, you know, uh, secured on the ground. But okay. everything else is happening. Axles are hung, live wires, stickers, everything while the trailer moves. So basically, as soon as it's baked and it's out, like literally that one just came out, what? 20 maybe minutes ago. 20, 30 minutes yeah, 30 ago, and they're already ready to yeah. get it. They're already hung, they're running wires. So pretty much as they come out this way, kind of come out here, and is this where? Uh, yeah, they're just, he's doing final, final uh, inspections, making sure the lots are working, running the hydraulics up and down, making sure fluid levels are good. You know, ensuring that when it gets done from here, it's ready to go to the shipping facility to come out to your dealer. That's a, that's a nice white one right there. Whew, that's nice. Gotta love the white. Gotta love the white. I don't think I've ever seen this one over here. A dump with a neck on the top? Oh yeah. Wow, that is cool. And then are these are these pretty much just ready to be transported? Yeah. Some of them still need decking, but. Sure, yeah, yeah. They're, they're staged ready for getting the floors in or maybe the floors need to be screwed down, but but they are. They last minute inspections to go over to be, to be shipped as well. Woo, take a look at this one. Man, oh man. Not many people do a uh, triple axle. The triple axle is is really cool. It's a beast. This is a, a custom triple super single with on air ride suspension. Well, you can see up here all that's going on, all the different airlines and plumbing and hydraulic brake lines. There's a lot going on under this trailer. Wow really nice man just just looking at this one just uh you know the diamond seaway is uh i mean i have owned multiple different trailers and one thing that has always kind of uh kind of shocked me is holes in the frame where stuff is running through with no grommet yeah. no but like there's grommets everywhere on this trailer, whether there's something running through it. Like, look, like, look at that. Not everybody does that stuff. I mean, a lot of people don't. It's just mind blowing. Like, it's uh, the, the cliche saying the difference is in the details, and it really is. Yeah. Little things make a huge difference over the life of the trailer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Wiring and lines, uh, they, they need holders, they need placement, they need. Uh, because most of the time, people don't get trailers to uh, trade in in a year or two. You know, people people uh, people keep trailers for uh, for a long time. So keeping them the long haul is important. Which is man, super nice. Oh well, my friends, uh, I am legitimately frozen. Uh, but that is pretty much going to wrap up our tour of the facility at Diamond Sea. Uh, some top secret stuff that I can't show you guys in here. Uh, but man. I am just honestly, truly, completely blown away at this entire thing. Just uh, the people, the procedures, the the just the massive amount of effort and time uh, that it takes to make this ship sail smoothly. Uh, just a ton of moving pieces. Um, just just crazy uh, the attention to detail uh, the quality uh, I truly feel is just uh, current day just unmatched if on trailers just uh, I don't even know I can't even I can't even explain it you know like I uh, I need to re regather my thoughts here because I'm just I'm just I'm just blown away so again guys go show diamond see some love um, the next video coming up, I'm actually staring at it right now, uh, is my new trailer. Hopefully we don't freeze to death going over and talking about that. Um, but the new trailer is a beast, so make sure you guys are subscribed, stay tuned. Um, 
and uh, give this video a big thumbs up and head over to Diamond C's uh, YouTube channel and Instagram. Make sure you guys follow them. And uh, yeah, if you guys are if you guys are in the market for a diamond or a trailer, uh, any size, shape, color options, you're not gonna find a better, more thorough built trailer with some of the really cool options that these guys are offering um, and not to, not to mention the engineered beam thing um, just all of the non-standard procedures and practices that these guys do to make sure that their trailers are a cut above the rest like truly can't even make it up just insane just truly insane so anyway I am going to slap my frozen palm against this thing and tell you guys I will see you guys in the next video very, very soon. That is going to do it, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Hit the like button. I'll see you. Bye.